So the Ark of the Covenant has been found, and we know this from the Bible and the Spirit of Prophecy. So this series will attempt to uh, prove that it has been found in Jerusalem, um, according to the Bible and the Spirit of Prophecy, so there's no need to argue over who said what, and um, archaeology, and this, this kind of thing. We're just going to look at the Bible and the Spirit of Prophecy. So um, we've already seen really where the Ark of the Covenant is, according to inspiration, but um, I just wanted to cover very, very quickly, this is going to be a very quick presentation, maybe just five minutes, on uh, some, some people believe that the Ark of the Covenant was taken to Rome and is therefore hidden in the Vatican at the present time. Now, this theory comes from the menorah. You can see the seven-branch candlestick there. And it appears on the Arch of Titus, which is an arch in Rome. And it was erected around about 82 AD uh, in memory of Titus, the emperor, the Roman emperor. And it um, commemorated his conquests, including the conquest of Jerusalem in 70 AD. So, see, uh, the, the logic is that seeing as this arch records, supposedly records the seven branch candlestick being taken away from the temple in Jerusalem in 70 AD. Therefore the Ark of the Covenant must have been taken away with it to Rome and uh, is therefore now hidden in Rome and people have decided that it's therefore hidden in the Vatican in Rome. So that's the logic, that's the theory. <clears throat> the Temple Institute mentions this theory in passing it reads, some people think that it, the Ark of the Covenant, was taken to the Vatican, together with other temple vessels, such as those depicted on the Roman monument, the Arch of Titus. There are many authentic ancient historical chronicles, and even more popular legends that attest to many sacred vessels having been taken away to Rome. However, this does not apply to the most holy feature of the first temple, the Ark the Ark of the Covenant. So while they, um, they mention the theory that the Ark of the Covenant was taken to Rome in 70 AD and now hides in the Vatican, they're saying it's not true. They refute that, that uh, story and so do I, uh, simply because Ellen White says so. Inspiration says from Prophets and Kings, page 596, paragraph 3. It says the second temple did not equal the first in magnificence, nor was it hallowed by those visible tokens of the divine presence which pertained to the first temple. There was no manifestation of supernatural power to mark its dedication. No cloud of glory was seen to fill the newly erected sanctuary. No fire from heaven descended to consume the sacrifice upon its altar. The Shekinah no longer abode between the cherubim in the most holy place. The ark, the mercy seat, and the tables of testimony were not found there. No sign from heaven made known to the inquiring priest the will of Jehovah. So you can see here that Ellen White in Prophets and Kings says that in the second temple the ark of the covenant wasn't even there. So if the ark of the covenant wasn't in the second temple, there's no way of course that it could be removed by Titus in 70 AD and carried off to Rome. So that, of course, is in harmony with Ellen White saying that it was taken from the first temple and hidden at that time in, in Jerusalem. And it says it's still there, safely hidden. So um, you can see the, the letters in bold there. Just to go over it again, it says that in the second temple, we're talking about the second temple. You can see that from the first words in this um, paragraph. And that Ellen White is saying that the ark, the mercy seat, and the tables of testimony were not found there in the most holy place of the second temple. So it had already been hidden. So that's it for this episode, but please do join me on the next episode.